Left to its own devices, nature has a highly efficient system of filtering runoff after a good rain. It soaks into the ground, nourishing the soil, or it flows downhill encountering natural vegetative filters before reaching a body of water. But once land has been developed, those natural filters are often replaced by hard surfaces, such as rooftops, sidewalks, streets, and parking lots. Pollutants are swept up by the runoff and deposited directly into storm drains. Trash, pet waste, construction debris, sediment, grease, chemicals, oil. Even sanitary waste and bacteria can be washed into a storm drain inlet. Often these curb inlets are the last line of defense, the last chance to capture pollution before it enters a storm drain. Inlet protection is a top priority. Today we'll look at temporary BMPs, best management practices aimed at reducing pollutants and sediment in areas where extra storm drain protection is needed. Hi, I'm Christine Sloan. I am Program Coordinator for the Stormwater Audits Team with the Watershed Protection Program. Today I'm here with Tony Berry. He is a civil engineer with the County of San Diego. Today we're going to be talking about stormwater inlets and how to protect them using different types of BMPs. Christine, selecting an appropriate BMP to protect a stormwater inlet involves a lot of factors that you need to consider. Whether or not there's exposed earth around or if it's pavement, if the inlet's in a well-traveled area, and you also need to think about the velocity of the flow going into the inlet and other considerations. The storm drain here at our first location is protected by a rock sock. Tony, can you tell us why a rock sock is a good thing to use here? Christine, rock socks are great. They can be cut to any length, custom fit to the application. They're very heavy, they stay in place, and they let the water flow through while they trap the debris and sediment upstream. What can you tell me about the maintenance of a rock sock? Well, maintenance is definitely a concern. This is not necessarily a temporary BMP, so you want to make sure you get somebody out here looking at it all the time, making sure that when it starts to degrade, that it gets replaced. Rock socks or gravel bags can be a good temporary or permanent BMP to filter out certain pollutants. They can be used alone or with other BMPs. Rock socks work by slowing water velocity. The clean gravel inside is porous. This allows the runoff to flow slowly through the bags, filtering out the pollutants. But rock socks have a shelf life. They can weather quickly and must be maintained. So now we're on the other side of the fence. We noticed that this location needs a little bit of maintenance here. A lot of debris has gotten past the rock socks and a little gap has opened up here between the two rock socks. So what we're going to do is come in and clean up some of the debris and close the gap and they ought to be functioning properly. Rock socks should not be placed near a traffic area where they can be run over and split apart. And they should not be placed where pedestrians may trip on them. The use of rock socks can vary. Take a close look at the inlet you want to protect, then determine if rock socks are the best application. So Tony, this looks like a good location for a rock bag installation. What do you think? I think it's a great location for a rock bag installation. You can see the ground is elevated above the inlet to the drain, and so it's a good place to stick a rock bag to make sure that this dirt doesn't end up in the drain. It's also a good location because you can place the rock bags and you don't have to worry about heavy traffic from pedestrians or cars running them over and destroying them. We're now at another location where different BMPs are being used. Tony, can you tell us what's going on here? Yeah, Christine, we have two separate things going on here. We have sandbags being used as check dams, and we also have a storm drain insert installed in our inlet. For a temporary solution, the use of these sandbags in this location would be okay. But for a permanent solution, a better idea would be to use larger river rocks for the check dams. A check dam can be either temporary or permanent. They're usually built across a minor channel, swale, or drainage ditch. They lower the speed of the runoff during a storm, allowing sediments and pollutants to settle out. Sandbags should not be your first choice for a check dam. They can easily degrade and spill sand directly into the storm drain. So Tony, let's discuss the storm drain insert. How do we know that it's working properly? Well, Christine, you can see that this particular insert has captured a whole lot of debris and leaves and sediment, and so it's obviously working properly. Key consideration with inserts like this is they fill up very quickly, so it's a good idea to do regular inspections and maintenance to make sure that they don't overfill. Storm drain inserts filter out debris and sediment, but depending on the insert material, 
They can also be very effective in filtering out hydrocarbons, grease, chemicals, and oil. Some new absorbent materials can even filter out contaminants like bacteria. Most inserts are simple devices designed to fit underneath the grate of a drop inlet or inside of a curb inlet. They often fit easily into traditionally engineered storm drain designs, but they can also be customized for odd-shaped drains. Like other BMPs, drain inserts must be properly installed to work effectively. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. Be certain the inserts are securely in place so storm water does not leak around the edges. And the devices should be installed without protruding parts that could be a traffic, worker, or pedestrian hazard. Sometimes inserts can be used in combination with gravel bags or rock socks. Here we are at a curb inlet that's in front of a construction site. So Tony, what kind of BMPs do we have here? So Christine, what's been done here is uh, filter fabric's been pasted over the curb inlet and gravel bags have been placed on top of it to both hold it in place and to filter the flow. This sort of BMP would only be used uh, in temporary situations and it's usually used in areas on and around construction sites or in areas where work is being done. One of the things we need to stress is maintenance. Absolutely, Christine. These are not just fix it and forget it BMPs. It's important to remember that rock socks and gravel bags need to be inspected and maintained regularly to ensure that they're replaced before they degrade. And the same thing's true for storm drain inserts, Tony. They must be checked regularly, especially after a storm. Plus, make sure to read the manufacturer reports on the inserts that you're using. Some manufacturers will even come out and do the maintenance for you and will give you a report on what the BMP is collecting. If you'd like to get more information on rock socks, gravel bags, or storm drain inserts, log on to our website at projectcleanwater.org. See you next time.